Hi guys! So today we're gonna talk about my January favorites. This is the first time that I've had enough items where I can do a favorites video. Also because I went shopping a lot in Korea, so I got some good things to show you guys. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with skincare today. The first item that I'm gonna talk about is the Belief Number 10 Essence. And this essence is the best thing that I can ever have during winter because it helps me keep all the moisture right on my skin. So the way that you use this essence is you get out of the shower or you wash your face and within 10 seconds, you need to put this essence on your face. After you apply it, you put on your toner, your essence, your moisturizer and your sleeping mask. That's what I do and it honestly helps everything kind of soak in really nicely and it locks it. So it basically opens up my pores and then closes it back up after it has everything. <laughs> it feels like I have a shield over my face. I literally have used half a bottle but I've had it since late December so it definitely is gonna last me one more month I think because I've used half of it. So it's pretty good bang for your buck. I've bought it in Korea. I'll link the where you can buy it down below whether it's on Sogo Glam or on Amazon. Also, I'm a big fan of Belief because it doesn't use any per fragrances or dyes. Next item is the Egg Mellow Cream, the five-in-one moisturizer. That's because it basically you can use it as a essence, a priming moisturizer, um, a neck cream, an eye cream, and then a sleeping mask. So it basically is telling you that it has everything in one bottle. I honestly don't use it for everything. I'll put it on a toner and essence and then I'll put this on. I think the consistency is like slime and it feels really nice on your face, but I gotta say this is something that I use religiously at night because it's pretty heavy. If I do use it in the morning, I'll just put on a toner and then use this moisturizer. It's up to you how you want to use it. I personally just like it as a moisturizer. It's been doing me really well with this dry weather that we're having in the winter and I would highly recommend. The next favorite I have is a makeup favorite. I bought this palette on Impulse. I think it was only about 20 some one and it's so cute. Honest, every time, I, can't, I need to stop saying honestly. Every time I open this palette, I'm in awe because it's so cute. It comes with four matte shades and four shimmer shades and then it gives you a highlight I think and then a blush. I haven't used the highlight and blush yet but I've been using the eyeshadows a lot. I used it in my blush lookbook makeup video and it's for me I feel like with lighter fair skin these brown warm tones really look good in the winter and I personally really like high brown as a base and then um, I love Kony is such a pretty color so I've been using it non-stop because I think brown just looks good on any outfit and it also doesn't look as intense or wow I'm wearing mascara and the packaging is really cute they collab with line friends so I'm a big fan of that every time I walked by in Korean I saw the collabs with like Cal Friends or Line Friends, I was so tempted to buy the product because it was so cute. They honestly get you with the packaging. <laughs> so that's it for makeup. I haven't tried out all the products that I got from Korea, so we're about to have some more hopefully, and if I forget anything, it'll be my February favorites. So next is this jacket. I'm so glad I found it when I went to the thrift store. So basically it's a black jacket. It's this big. It's a pretty big jacket. It's a size medium. I'm guessing in men's and or maybe in women's. I'm not sure. But it has this gray fluffy inner layer and the outside is almost like a kind of waterproof but not really waterproof material but I'm pretty sure the backstory of this jacket is someone worked at BMW and wore it while they were working outside like helping car you know those guys with the clipboards or the 
the women with the clipboards and they have this jacket on and it's obviously like oh they work for this car dealership so it's probably that's probably the backstory and someone just stopped working at bmw that's the backstory and people honestly give me so much <coughs> oh my god really warm I've embarrassingly worn it every single night if you see me out at night I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing this jacket it's probably my favorite thrift purchase thus far because it's the utility is amazing I only paid about $14 for it I think so yep better than any of my clothes that I bought my last clothes favorite is gonna be these mom jeans from Topshop and so they have a little fold or I folded them at the bottom not a great fold but they're basically they cinch at the waist really nicely and I bought them in Europe in London because there's so many top shops there and I was like dude I gotta buy some top shop jeans because people rave about them all the time and I bought them I wore it in Spain a lot or twice I think and I was in Spain for like four days and it was so tight on my waist I couldn't breathe but maybe I've lost waist fat since then but it's really comfortable now I kind of love wearing it because it hugs me at my waist and it hugs my legs too really nicely and it, it feels comfortable when my jeans are a certain level of tightness so I've worn it religiously, I've worn it to class, I've worn it when I went on an LA trip, I wore it to a, a social gathering. I also really like the color. I'll usually wear it with another color hoodie and tuck in in the front so that I don't get swallowed on my clothes or I'll wear it with a form fitting top like this yellow one where it kind of shows my collarbones, it fits nicely and it stops right above the waist so that I also don't get swallowed by my clothes again. <laughs> Last but not least, I have a book favorite for you guys. This book favorite is actually a rare thing that will happen on this channel. <laughs> so, so this book is The Best We Could Do by T. Bowie and I've only read half of it so far but I just thought like I have to put this on my favorites because I was really happy that UCSB decided to choose this book as like the book of the year that they hand out for free at the library. UCSB is predominantly definitely not an Asian school and the fact that we're recognizing Asian Americans and their story is a beautiful thing to me that is happening on my campus. So basically a little summary about the book is T basically talks about her parents and their lives before they were actually her parents. And and she kind of takes us on these paths where she describes her family, she describes her siblings, she describes the backstory of how her dad came to America, how her mom met her dad. So all these different intertwining stories in from her past and her parents' past. Definitely not just an easy book that you just want to get through. It's that's why it's taken me a while to even get through half of it. Some of these images here are really dark, they're relatable to me, and also a manifestation of the American, Asian American struggle, which I feel like not enough is out there, and that's the whole purpose why T even wrote this book, because she couldn't find a lot of things that she could relate to when she was younger. Oh, this will probably be one of the few book favorites you'll see this year, or who knows. Maybe I'll read more, maybe I'll have more time. I don't know. That's it for my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. <coughs> I'm sick right now and the weather is only under 50 degrees. It's not even that low and the sun is bright and shining. If you guys literally look, it's beautiful outside so guys so much for watching i hope you guys stay warm or stay cool wherever you guys are in the world and i'll see you guys in my next video bye